to get things going, I'd like to uh, ask Greg Medlin, Corporate Communications Director for Niagara Falls Community Casinos, to say a few words. Thank you, Jim. Hello, everybody. Again, I'm Greg Medlin from Falls Casino Resort and Casino Niagara. I bring greetings on behalf of 5,200 talented and energetic employees located just up the hill and down the road. Like Jim said, this is our, our ninth sponsorship of this tremendous event. I have seen it evolve uh, from myself from a, a personal level, having participated in the event uh, once or twice, and uh, it certainly had the growing pains to show for that after the races. I uh, wanted to thank Jim Ralston and his unbelievable, small but very talented and energetic crew at the marathon. Unbelievable passion and energy. Again, for those of you participating on Sunday, good luck, and let's all cross our fingers and pray for great weather. Thank you. Greg, representing the Parks Commission, I'd like to ask Sarah Wood to come up and say a few words. Good evening. On behalf of the Niagara Parks Commission, I would like to welcome you all here to the Commissioner's Quarters. Uh, this is one of the oldest properties here at the Niagara Parks Commission, and uh, we really enjoy hosting parties like this. We also are the host of this marathon in terms of the race course that you're running. For the majority of the race course, it is here on the Canadian side and running along the scenic Niagara Parkway. But this is going to be a great race. We also host the Niagara Parks Schools Marathon, and we've doubled our numbers to try and to get the kids involved, get them healthy and active in their lifestyles, but also to encourage them to know what racing is really like. And we're really excited because we've got 250 runners this year that will run 2.8 kilometers. Uh, coming in on the five kilometer runner's tail. So if you happen to see these kids around and you're one of the runners, encourage them, let them know that this is an exciting sport and uh, a healthy lifestyle is a great thing to lead. Representing the city of Niagara Falls, I'd like to present Joyce Morocco, councillor. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jim. Uh, it's a great honor to be here representing the city of Niagara Falls and our worship, worship mayor, Ted Salsi, and members of council. Um, the uh, casino, uh, the International Casino Marathon is very close to my heart because it, it was just so small and now today the numbers that Jim has now grown this uh, marathon to be but every year it just continues to grow and grow and the recognition is worldwide and uh, it's an honor and uh, there's no one more uh, I think here that really supports festivals and events and all the hard work uh, that Jim and his staff and I know his wife, Ruth, uh, there's a lot of work involved and endless uh, endless volunteer times as well. So I truly, truly appreciate and I welcome all those people that have come from all around the world to uh, participate in this marathon. And uh, thank you for coming to this beautiful destination. I hope you truly enjoy it and all the best. Most of you are aware that this year we made a significant change by moving the finish line 800 meters north to Table Rock. With the help of the Parks Commission, they gave us approval to finish right at the falls. How many other people would come here to run a race finishing 100 meters from the brink of the falls? This is the fifth year that we presented the Rainbow Award. This is normally done on Saturday morning at the International Breakfast Run. We normally give it to the people that have contributed the most to the sport of distance running. So we were looking at what could we do that this year that may be a little bit different. We have two runners that are going to be participating on Sunday. Don McNally and Norm Frank. Don is 85 years old and has run 713 marathons. We have Norm Frank who is 75 years old, ran 930 marathons. <laughs> Just to put this into perspective, those of you that have ran marathons, and I have, the normal runner may do two marathons a year without killing himself. <laughs> if you have to try and match what Don has done, with the 713, 
it would take you 59 years to run one marathon a month to match his achievement. If you take Norm Franks of 930 marathons, it would take you 77 years. And Norm is only 75. <laughs> I'd like to ask Greg Medlin to come up here and assist me for a moment. Norm, Don, could you come up here please? We're here with Running Canada TV with uh, two of the veteran marathoners in the world. What is it that possesses a person to run one marathon and then another and then all of a sudden they're running many, many marathons? Well, seriously, you get to travel around, you meet an awful nice, a lot of nice people. For example, I have many Canadian friends and I've run every Canadian province and territory. A marathon in every one. And you've run Niagara before? Oh yes, a number of times, many times. All right. What about you, Norm? Uh, same, same reasons. It's, uh, you meet new people, new friends all over the country, and you get to see the country Yes. in a different light. Yes, and you see some of the same friends many yeah. times as well. There's a club called the 50 States Club, and you're running a marathon in every state, and we see those people uh, everywhere. Is there something special about runners that make them especially fun to, you know, maybe commune with or to hang out with or obviously to run with? I do it because, Norm, he's a very special friend. We've been running together for 38 years. We travel a lot together. And so, mm -hmm. yeah. who, who usually wins? He does. He's much younger. You know. Of course. He's in, a, he's in a different age group. That's right. That's right. I'm in a different age group. <laughs> Well, what kind of experiences have you had with Niagara? What make I mean, with as many marathons as you've run, everyone I imagine is special. Oh, it's special. It's, just, it's one of the most beautiful courses in the world. You know, Canada is great on parks. You have this parkway up here, and with the river on one side and all the vegetation, it's just wonderful. And the people are so nice. Jim Ralston is a very special friend. And with gas prices the way they are, this is close to home. So <laughs> we save a few bucks there. <laughs> You've been to some pretty fire-flung places, too. What's, what's the furthest you've been to, Norm? An Don, Antar yeah, Antarctica. Uh, I've been to the North Pole, and that's about as far as I've gone. All right. That's a, that's a little further north than even Canada. What, what, what's it like up there? Well, it's cold. Uh, I've been above the uh, Arctic Circle in Canada 14 times. I'm a fan of the far north and the far south. Uh, I, I've just been, uh, you know, enjoyed going there. It was really different. Well, do you have a target date? How, how, how long do you go? Do you go to 1,000? You just keep going until you, you can't go? That's my goal right now is to hit sure. 1,000. A year and a half or two years yet. But All right. Uh, looking for that. Sure. What about you, Don? Well, I doubt if I can make 1,000. I won't live that long, but I'm going to go as long as I can. I have no plans to finish at all. My formula is two and a half marathons a month, mm -hmm. and, I'm so, and I'm ahead of schedule this year. Well, I've heard of people who uh, who do runs to add life to their to their years, and obviously you guys are healthy and and, and having a ball.